All right, DJ, um, first of all, just not to rehash any old bad memories, but you know, you yourself had a great freshman campaign, really yeah. kind of proved to people that you belong in the SEC to some people who might've thought, okay, this guy, where'd he come from, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Then last season, you kind of got bit by the injury bug, and in a little bit of time that you played, you were able to make an impact. Yeah. For a guy like you, watching the season as it kind of progressed, knowing that defensively they were really, really struggling with the, the injuries and the things like that, right. um, how was that for you just kind of being, just standing there watching, knowing, okay, my body's not letting me do what I need to do? Not a good feeling, I can tell you that. But um, I feel like, you know, it was just a kind of a learning experience, you know, me seeing what, what we need to work on, you know, kind of just being able to, when I come back, just, you know, kind of help the team, you know, next year help the team and propel us. Uh, to, to be better than how we were last year. Did you kind of become uh, another coach on the sideline when these guys are coming off the field? You kind of say, hey, this guy's doing this, or this is what I see that you could do on this guy here. Were oh, there yeah. any moments like that? Oh, or yeah, anybody most that? Most definitely. You know, guys, you know, bucks and ends, you know, because I play bucket and They guys come out the field, you know, I try to, you know, give them a little advice on, you know, different things that I saw and you know, things that they can do to, you know, to, do, to make it better. And of course, one of the big things about you is is having a brother on the team who right. eventually moved into a starting role. Right. Um, talk about just your, you know, growing up together, playing football together, getting yeah. to college together. I mean, was anything he did last year a surprise to you, or is that just kind of like, hey, I told you? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. No, it was. It wasn't surprising me at all. I knew once he got in, once he got his turn, he was going. He was going. He was going to do his thing. And I felt like it was just. You just kind of showed the world what he really can do. Pretty much, he wasn't no shock. What do you? What do you think it is about you that maybe made some guys overlook you in the recruiting process? I know we're kind of stepping back a couple of years, yeah. but what was it that you really, you know, do you think it was that made guys like kind of maybe step back and then all of a sudden here comes Muschamp with a late offer and, you know, an SEC school, obviously, that was, I'm sure, quite attractive to you. Yeah. But, you know, what was it like for you knowing, hey, I just need a chance? Um, well, first I could start off by saying, you know, it was, I was kind of a, like a late bloomer. You know, I was, I was kind of smaller than everybody, you know. But, um, you know, much time I saw something in me that not a lot of schools did, and I, and I appreciate him for that. You know, just have, him having that confidence and belief in me make me want to go even harder for him. Does that something that ever sticks in your mind, or you just kind of put that to the side now and just working on controlling yourself, or is that one of those things that is always going to be a motivation to you every oh, time you step on the field? It's definitely always in my mind. You know, that's, that's kind of my motivation, you know, just for me to keep going. That and my family, you know, just that makes me, makes me want to go each and every day. So with you having a brother on the team, you know, right. not a lot of guys have that, but with you having a brother on the team, what kind of things do you two do together? Are you kind of video game players? Are you yeah. Fortnite guys? Are you Madden guys? What what do you guys like to do? Um, We pretty much just hang out. You know, we ain't nothing really specific that we do. You know, if something pops up, you know, we'll do it. But, you know, off the field, we do, we do hang out a lot, a lot. I want to kind of bring up something that, you know, of course, on camera was kind of funny, but, you know, you had a first-person perspective two right. seasons ago. You're at Tennessee. Right kicker runs into you, right. you turn around, next thing you know, right. there's somebody in yeah. your face. Yeah. What would kind of walk me through that situation? I mean, was that just as funny as it looked on camera or was All that right, just so something where you had to kind of just say, oh. So basically what happened was, you know, I was going up to block it and I, and I barely missed it. So, you know, I got, you know, got mad or whatever and I bumped him, but I didn't feel, I didn't feel him bump him. So I walked away and I, ain't, I he, he was, you know, jumping on me, you saw in the video, he was jumping on me. I ain't feel, I ain't feel nothing at all. I felt like a little nut and I turned around. I was kind of shy. I didn't even know what was going on. I turned around like, it was, it was crazy. Though. It was funny. Once I watched that video, it was funny. And I mean, I'm a kind of segue. I just interested in that one personally, just because I was there, you know, with saw yeah. it and was like, oh, what's going on here? Yeah. But, uh, you know, just kind of talked to our, earlier to Rick Sandage. Yeah. I mean, I know you don't necessarily play exactly the same spot, but you yeah. know, from a defensive line standpoint, Guys have that welcome to the SEC moment. You know, he talked about last year playing against Georgia where he made a small mistake and the guy for Georgia made him pay for it, and that yeah. was kind of his welcome. Have you had that welcome to the SEC moment against the team where you kind of like, oh, well, I'm not in high school anymore, that sort of stuff? Or? Um, Man, freshman year was so long ago, man. <laughs> I'm trying to think. I know I didn't, I didn't have that moment plenty of times, but um, I can't really think of an exact moment if I had, when I had that experience. Going against – these guys in practice, is there anybody in particular on the offensive line, maybe even your brother, somebody that really brings out the best in you or somebody that maybe it's got the best of you that you can't wait to go against again? Uh, all of them pretty much bring out the best in me. Um, they all, you know, all of them good, different, got great, you know, as I said, you know, Sidari's big, strong guy. 
Um, Dylan, you know, good feet, strong. They they all feel. I feel like every day I got to come ready to go because if I if I don't, they gonna they gonna get the best of me. My last question for you. I know a lot of guys are team first guys, which obviously makes sense. But right. is there a particular stat or anything that you want to see yourself kind of improve on this season and at the end of the year? Have kind of a number in your mind of anything that you want to have accomplished? Um, my biggest thing is staying healthy. You know, the numbers is, is going to happen once you play. Once you get to making plays, numbers are going to come. I'm just my biggest thing is staying healthy. Mm -hmm.